All right, uh, we are at Rhydomania at Goa and uh, let us take you on a short tour of the whole campus, the venue campus and show you around as to what exists at the Mad Mayhem at Rhydomania 2011 happening at Goa. We start with the parking lot here, machines, Royal Enfields, some of the custom modded motorcycles. Uh, this lot is not as full right now, but then as the day progresses, the lot's gonna get a lot fuller. So much so that there, there's gonna be no space uh, to even walk. It's gonna be full with tons of only chrome metal. I mean, if you're gonna park a different brand bike, a different looking bike out here, you're going to be the weirdest odd man out ever on planet Earth. Once your bike's parked out here, you're all free to step inside and have the fun. Let's step inside then and see what the whole venue, campus, arrangements and the organization of the festival looks like. Yo, and the registration desk, uh, this is the kiosk that is going to give you the license to have fun inside. Um, what this desk does is basically you come in at any point of the day or evening, impromptu, register yourself by filling out the form, it's being manned by two people all the time. You get a white band just like what I am wearing, get this white band punched in one of the kiosks inside, you get a free t-shirt and then the fun can begin. Come over inside, we'll show you some more kiosks, it's a huge campus. Paramedics kiosk here, another of the kiosks at the venue. At Bikermania we are going to have a lot of uh, biking competitions, there's going to be this loop cycle race and uh, there's the dirt racing there are trials lots of exciting events lots of participants much of these events go on for hours together safety comes first at any event any festival like this it's a huge festival safety has to be huge though we have a paramedics kiosk let's step inside now <laughs> supposed to be a lot of competitions going on out here. I mentioned about dirt racing and trials which could be potentially hazardous to unseasoned riders. Well, there are certain competitions for those who are not really wanting to put themselves in danger. Come to Goa, have a nice chilling time. Competitions like arm wrestling, as soon as you enter the venue, you start seeing boards and billboards to these effects. Arm wrestling, there's the slow race, there's also the beer drinking competition. Now one of the competitions out here, where no matter what you do, you can never lose. Drink as much beer as you want, have some fun. Straight as you enter, what you are about to see is then the lounge. Let's say you're bored, you don't want to be participating, you don't want to be chilling, you don't want to be listening to the live rock band, the, the live music shows on the stage. Watch a movie. Come inside, let's have a look at the lounge. That's basically the screen wherein they screen movies, documentaries. What they also screen here in the lounge is very, very old Royal Enfield ads. So out from the lounge, we don't want to be watching a movie. We're not in the mood. We want to be getting straight to the real fun. But what stands in the way before that is another kiosk. This kiosk is the merchandise zone for Royal Enfield. loitering around the perimeter of this campus the campus is called Hilltop I think it's about time that we show you the real deal the real deal happens inside that's the venue trippy tree not much of crowd right now as the day progresses we will be witnessing some of the hugest turnouts in a biking festival in India what you find here is the bar. Whatever mood you are in, uh, you got to drink for that at this bar. Let's uh, head over to some of the food stalls. Now some wonderful food stalls out here. You got some Greek food available. 
You got the North Indian Delhi chart kind of stuff. You got the Coffee Heaven series. It's Kapita kebabs, Sovlaki kebabs. You got some momos, you got some Chinese momos out there. That was a Greek pita that I just ate. Of course, not in front of the camera, because that's not good manners. You got some other merchandises also to be sold other than Royal Enfield. Let's say you want to buy a vintage helmet. That's the end of our short tour to show you around what exists at the campus, the different kiosks, the different things that you can do when not having absolute fun out there.